it's Ryan O'Brien along with Johnny Kincaid from our sister station 105.3 WJLT. Uh, WVKR 92.5, Dave Spencer's here as well, and our own Cat Michaels from 106.6 FM. And we're at the Red Brush Rifle Range uh, in the depths of Warwick County. And we're here with Officer <laughs> Chuck Knoll, who is uh, with the Evansville Police Department. And today, Chuck, we're going to learn about proper gun safety and the proper way to handle uh, firearms, correct? That's correct. We're going to uh, play with some 22s today and uh, shoot a few targets and uh, do it safely. Excellent. Very nice. Let's pop some caps. Four universal gun safety rules that we want to remember are, number one is we treat all guns as if they were loaded. Even though we know they're not loaded, we treat them as if they were loaded. Number two is we keep our finger off the trigger until we've made a conscious decision to fire. Third, we want to keep our muzzle point in a safe direction at all times. Here today is going to be downrange. And lastly, we want, to, we want to know our target and its environment. If we have a target set up and we have someone behind the target, we don't want to fire. We want to make sure it's safe and clear. You're, you're using basically the back strap of your thumb and these two fingers. Your pinky just kind of dangles there. Your support hand is going to, if I'm facing down range, I'm going to tend to down range. If you look at the side of the gun here, it's open. The more hands, left and right hand, we can put on this portion of the weapon, the more control we can have on the pistol. So if you take your support hand and point it down range, you'll notice that it fits right into this open space. So you're going to put your hand on the, the left side of the pistol and you're just going to wrap your support hand around. Now, I'm not squeezing very hard with my, my right hand, my strong hand. The grip comes from your support hand. That's, I'm squeezing about as hard as I would to try and squeeze an orange or a tennis ball. I'm squeezing pretty hard here with my support hand. That's where the grip comes from. So when I fire the gun, the gun shouldn't move. Okay? I shouldn't see this when I fire the gun. That means I'm not holding on. When a gun fires, it's not going to move. Away. Okay? So, do we want to all try that real quick? Sure. All right, there's a, a weapon. Why don't we just get on line here and point down that way? Cat, why don't you come here? All right, we see those targets down there, the plates all the way down at the end of the range. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. You're going to line up the sight. You're going to look at your front sight and put it in the center of one of those circles down there. Go. Ready to go. Okay, what I want to do is adjust your grip just a hair. Okay. You want to make sure you go ahead and set up your grip. Yeah, you don't want your thumb resting on the slide because that's going to cause a malfunction. Oh, that was a little bit low. I saw where that one hit. Go ahead. There we go. Did you hear that? I heard it. Yeah. Yeah. Hit, 100 yard hit with a pistol. <laughs> That's why we use safety glasses. Say, yeah, we'll just the weapons we used today wore two um, Glock 21 with uh, advantage arm uh, conversion kits. We use those on the police department for additional training. We have two uh, Walter TP22s, they both have suppressors on it, one's an aluminum, one's titanium. And we have two Ruger Mark IIs, one with a 5 inch bull barrel, the other with the uh, standard 7.5 inch barrel, and we're shooting uh, CCI stingers today.